the James Webb Space Telescope was launched to answer humanity's oldest questions. Where did we come from? Are we alone? But recently, Webb pointed its golden mirrors into the deepest darkness of space, and what it captured has left even NASA speechless. This is not just another distant galaxy. This is not another exoplanet. This is something unimaginable, something that defies science, defies logic, and forces us to rethink everything we believed about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is not just another tool. It's humanity's greatest eye into the universe. With its golden hexagonal mirrors stretching over 21 feet, it can peer billions of years into the past, capturing light from the very first stars and galaxies. For decades, Hubble gave us breathtaking views of the cosmos. But Webb? Webb looks deeper, into the infrared spectrum, allowing us to see through dust clouds, into the hearts of galaxies, and even detect the chemical fingerprints of alien worlds. But what happened recently is not just about beautiful images, it's about anomalies. NASA scientists pointed Webb toward a cluster of galaxies cataloged years ago. On paper, this was a routine observation. Measure star formation, look for early galaxies, study dark matter. Nothing unusual. But when the first processed images came in, researchers froze. There, in the darkness between galaxies, was a structure. Not a galaxy, not a nebula, not anything we've seen before. The object glowed faintly in infrared, but unlike stars, it did not scatter light randomly. Instead, it emitted light in perfect geometric lines, angles that nature does not create. Imagine a square glowing in the blackness of space, a square hundreds of light years across. At first, the team thought it was an error, a glitch. Webb's mirrors are so sensitive that a stray photon or software bug can create strange patterns. But when the observation was repeated from a different angle at a different time, the same structure appeared. This wasn't a mistake. Something was there. And as the days went by, the image became clearer. The square was only the beginning. Around it were repeating patterns, almost like a circuit board floating in space. Lines connected to glowing nodes, forming an immense grid, a lattice that stretched across light years. The data suggested the structure was emitting controlled light, pulsing in rhythms. Natural objects do not do this. Stars flicker, quasars flare, but randomness is the rule of nature. Here, the pulses followed strict patterns almost like a signal. One scientist described it like this. It's as if someone built a city the size of a galaxy and then turned on the lights. Whispers began. Could this be a Dyson structure? A megastructure built to harvest the energy of stars? Or something even greater? A galactic scale machine operating for purposes we cannot comprehend? And yet this was only the beginning. Webb's instruments picked up something else, something that froze the blood of every researcher watching the screen. The pulses were counting. The raw data from Webb's infrared sensors was staggering. Buried within the repeating pulses was a sequence, not random, not noise, but ordered signals that mirrored one of humanity's most universal creations, mathematics. The first set of pulses repeated in prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Then came geometric ratios, the golden ratio, pi, Fibonacci sequences, all woven into the light. This wasn't cosmic coincidence. This was intelligence. For decades, SETI researchers dreamed of receiving a signal like this, but always imagined it would come through radio waves. No one expected it to come as light, carved into the fabric of space itself. NASA didn't release the images immediately. Internal debates raged. Could this be natural? Could exotic physics like gravitational lensing or quantum fields explain the patterns? Some argued yes, 
desperate to cling to known science, but others admitted the truth. Nature does not count in prime numbers. And then came the breakthrough. A graduate researcher ran the pulses through a simple decryption model, treating them as binary code. To her shock, the data formed shapes, not random, but recognizable. The first decoded image resembled an atom, a nucleus with orbiting electrons. The next, a double helix, DNA. Gasps filled the lab. Whoever or whatever was behind this wasn't just sending numbers, they were sending a language, a visual code of existence itself. But the final decoded frame sent shivers down every spine in the room. It was a shape unmistakable to all of humanity. Earth. Not an approximation, not a generic planet, but Earth's exact proportions, with its oceans and continents clearly mapped in glowing light. And then below it appeared another image, a circle, smaller, pale, the moon. This wasn't a broadcast into the void. This was a direct message. Someone or something was pointing at us. NASA scrambled. The White House was briefed. The Pentagon, too. Discussions turned from science to security. Because if this was communication, then it meant only one thing. We had been noticed. But the nightmare had only begun. Because Webb continued observing, and the pulses didn't stop. After Earth and the Moon, the sequence shifted again, this time forming a new image. It wasn't a planet. It wasn't DNA. It was a countdown. Numbers appeared, each one holding steady for minutes before shifting to the next. A slow, deliberate clock ticking down through the darkness of space. No one knew what it was counting to. A meeting? An arrival? An event in the cosmos that would soon unfold? The room fell silent as the numbers descended, lower and lower, inching closer to zero. Humanity had received its first cosmic message, and that message came with a deadline. As the countdown ticked, the world erupted. Whispers from inside NASA leaked to the press. Headlines blared, James Webb detects alien signal. Some dismissed it as conspiracy, others as science fiction. But the evidence was undeniable. The images, the sequences, the mathematical language. Governments scrambled in secret meetings. The UN Security Council convened. Scientists were asked to stay silent, but too many had already seen the data. The truth was spilling out. But here's where it became truly unimaginable. The countdown reached its final numbers. Ten. Nine. Eight. Webb's instruments locked onto the structure, every eye on Earth waiting for what would happen. And then, at zero, the pulses stopped. Silence. Darkness. The grid of light across space went black. For a moment, humanity breathed. Maybe it was over. Maybe it was just a demonstration.